made it to Tulum, guys. First time at the airport here. They got this airport built with probably within five years in St. Martin Airport. Five years after the hurricane. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be spectacular like Dubai. Get something done. I got Jack here in Mexico. Drone tax. They tried to tell me my drone was over 250 grams and it's a DJI Mini 4. So I had to pay up $95 tax because it was in my carry-on. I have to look this shit up because that's weird as hell, y'all. Trying to get me. Also, they are highway robbing you with taxis just like in Cancun to go from the airport to Tulum Central. They want $137. Only private taxis, no city taxis are here. So once again, you gotta take that ADO bus from the airport for 200 pesos to get to Tulum Central. These to get this shit together down here in Mexico. You can't be robbing people like this. It's gonna destroy your tourism. You know what I'm saying? Be robbing people to be cheaper to rent a car. But then there ain't nowhere to park that motherfucker. Catch 22. Anyway, we here. I decided to stay at the A-Loft because the weather is nasty out right now to stay on the beach it's been supposed to rain for the next three days so I might as well stay in town at least I'll be by the gym anyway it's getting on this bus it leaves in five minutes see you at the Aloft here the buses are over here I'm curious to see how long it takes to get from the airport to town All right, so back at the Aloft here in Tulum Central. Got the room for, I had it booked until Monday, but the weather's crap, so I don't know if I'll stick around here for three, three days. Um, while the weather's this bad, I might just take out early and uh, and dip. Damn, the key don't even work. So like I was saying, yeah, I'll probably, if the weather sucks, I am going to bounce out of here on Sunday. So I'll do Friday night, Saturday night, and then take off Sunday to my next destination on the birthday trip. This is my birthday trip, y'all. It's not until the 26th, but starting early. Let's go get in this room, see what's about. They said they upgraded me. Let's see. tour guys they have a steamer for your clothes a safe nice rainfall shower with marble a little separate toilet entrance sink with some toiletries and your extra towels and blow dryer and they have some drawer space in case you want to use it and then they have the bag for your dirty clothes nice stand-up mirror what's up y'all 
king size bed nice TV and there's no view and it's raining ugly out and a nice big TV guys anyway this is the Aloft and being a platinum member they always hook you up with the extra sweets so we are going to chill out here I am now there's no we at me I'm gonna chill out or we as in us as the viewers I'm gonna chill out for a little bit I'm a little tired I'm gonna probably take a nice hour or two nap and then hit the gym and then go get some grub uh, in town at my favorite places all right let's go see you later All right, guys, it's time to step out. I'll get a little food and some drinks, smoke a little shisha. Y'all know how it goes down. Keep the same routine going, though. Uh, una cerveza, um, Corona. Corona? Sí. Sí. Tequila. Uh, Herradura. Tequila Herradura. Sí. sí. Con, y, con hielo, con hielo y limón. Limón, ok. Sí. sí. Beer, Caribbean beer secret. Wrap your beer. That way it stays cold. get out of here tomorrow I came down here didn't even know it was a damn tropical storm going on so the weather's not gonna hold up for any good beach activities so it's all overcast gloom and doom so we're gonna get out of here tomorrow and head back to Asia so that's the plan so just roll with me let's see where we end up but first breakfast beneath the starlit sky I or for breakfast all right guys breakfast was a success headed back up to the room right now and going to rest not rest but just chill out in the room because it does not look pretty out there and it is very windy 
So yeah, should have checked the weather before I flew all the way down here, but it is what it is, no worries. All right guys, there's a lull in the weather, so it's time to go to the gym, getting ready to go to Evolve Fitness here in Tulum. One of the gyms I frequent when I'm in Mexico. I like their chain service is good. Always some good eye candy, which I'll start slowly implementing into the videos since I am no longer in a relationship. I'll give y'all a little taste of the medicine all around the world. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Gym time. chilly for us but for the locals I'm sure it's cold because they all have coats on and shit it's probably like 70 degrees hola si como esta gracias Up, evolve fitness show. Gotta walk 
go up here and get a taxi in the rain. Maybe stop and get a taco or two. In one of these restaurants on the strip. I'd be mad as hell if I came down here for the weekend and it's a fucking tropical storm like it is. And I'm leaving. I'm out of here tomorrow. I go get a shisha. Smoke one after I eat. Guys, what some bomb ass food you gotta go here. Don Cafeto. It's cold Victoria beer. I like this beer. I wanted to chop it up with you guys about the taxi situation and flying into Tulum. It's, you think it's a good deal that you're closer to Tulum, but the prices are almost the same as flying into Cancun and getting a car to come down here, which is like 200 US dollars. It's 140 to go from Tulum Airport into Tulum Central. It's 40 minutes by bus which is 220 pesos on ADO. So I don't think it's worth the price to fly into Tulum thinking you're gonna get here cheaper than you would be from Cancun. Uh, no gracias. So yeah, that's, the, that's what I would suggest. If you're gonna save some money by flying into Cancun, I would definitely just pick Cancun and come down here for 240 pesos on the ADO bus. Or if you fly into Cozumel and then take the ferry over, which is like $15, and then a taxi from Playa del Carmen to Tulum is only about $30. So that's a way you can save some money to come down here. And I was talking to a couple of the drivers that I know here, and they said that it costs 1,200 pesos to go from Tulum to the airport here in Tulum, which is about the same from Playa del Carmen to Cancun airport, which makes zero sense because that's an hour and a half drive, and this is only about 25 minutes of a car. So they're getting you on the taxi prices in Tulum, in Mexico, period. They're getting you on the prices. So I would suggest doing the ADO or renting a car and then you eliminate all that shit. But then you gotta worry about getting jacked by them one time out here you know trying to get that extra buck anyway man and it's getting mad expensive out here in mexico it used to be one of the cheap places i go but yes i'll be continuing to frequent bali and thailand if i want cheap and i ain't a you know cheapskate you know i don't mind spending a little money but man i don't like getting got and it seems like they're doing a lot of getting out here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get my tacos and head back to the room. Just wanted to chop it up with y'all real quick about uh, the taxi situation here in, in Tulum. Gracias. Look at that, y'all. Let me some tacos de pollo, guac lunch after a nice hard session in the gym all right y'all see y'all after i eat time to hit the streets again night two here in tulum it's not raining and it's very humid out. Nice little break from the rains. I walk out to the front and get a taxi. I hide up under these palapas. It's starting to rain like a motherfucker, man. I 
It's gonna wrap up tonight, guys. Had a couple of drinks, smoked a little shisha. People watched. There's a couple of pub crawls that came in there that was pretty lively. Anyway, live to fight another day tomorrow. See ya. So this is gonna wrap it up here in Tulum. I'm gonna sleep for a good eight and then we're gonna wake up tomorrow, go to the gym and then head to the airport. Peace out for Tulum. See you next time, peace.